Hey everybody, what's going on? I wanted to talk today about runes. I think, I think I've kind of been making a mistake that I'm starting to correct. So I wanted to, to kind of share with you and, and maybe we can get a good example of what I'm talking about today. I am a little bit too strict, I think, with which runes I'll keep. So I'm, I'm, I've got my Tricaru team, I've got my, my Speed Giants, I've got my Speed Necro, and I run it a lot, right? I do a ton of farming on this account. You wouldn't know it by how much energy I have, but that was at like 14,000 not that long ago. <laughs> I do a lot of farming. My rune inventory is actually filled up again, and I, I have to go through and do a cleanse. And more often than not, I will sell most of my blue runes without much of a second look. I, I glance at them real quick, and if something doesn't really stand out, I'll usually get rid of it. And I think I'm being too strict. I think... I think I have not been seeing the potential in enough runes. And so so I'm, I'm working to start correcting that. I'm going to be a little bit more meticulous as I comb through my runes and, and start deciding which ones to keep. And I'm going to really start giving some more thought to some of the blue runes that I'm seeing because I think some of these blue runes could actually turn into something pretty substantial when we start getting into our, our grinds and enchants, okay? I don't have a ton of grinds and enchants right now because I haven't done a ton of... Uh, R5 yet. So I do R4 occasionally, not much, working on getting an R5 set up. And uh, so, so, so I don't have a, a bunch, but we're going to see if I can't find a blue rune or two to, to get a good example of with. This is one I was looking at, right? We've got a will rune here, slot five, resistance and speed. Now, depending on what happens with this rune, this could turn into something really good, even with the resistance, right? So I'm going to roll it, and I'm, we're going to see what it does. If I double up on speed here, though, we're looking at a rune that's got a pretty decent speed sub that can be hit, that, that can be grinded up. Now, unfortunately, I hit resistance. Now, I'm not automatically going to sell it. I am going to go ahead and take it to six and see what it does. And we're probably going to continue to take it up and see what it does. Because a double on resistance here, that's quite a bit of resistance, too. And in a will rune, maybe I'm going to want that. You know what I mean? But these, these, these subs together are not really all bad. So I would have probably preferred to double up. But let's see what happens here. Now I'm looking for some, something that's not a flat stat, ideally. So HP percentage. So now, now all of a sudden, it's not so bad. Let's roll it to 12 and see what it does. Because now we've got resistance and HP, which go hand in hand. And then speed... I mean, just about everybody is going to want speed, right? So it's, it's slowly showing more and more potential. Now, we could hit something pretty decent here at, at 12, but also keep in mind, we can it's grind out, right? Or enchant out. I always get the terms mixed up. We can, we can get rid of whatever this next roll is if we don't like it, okay? So like defense percentage would be pretty nice here. Accuracy would be pretty nice here. Now we've got a rune that's covering a pretty solid handful of stats, right? Uh, top of my head, oracles. I think this would be kind of decent, you know what I mean? There's, there's probably a handful of units that this would be good on, like, like Sierra and Juno. Not Sierra. Uh, Praha and Juno jumped out at me right away. Um, but not bad. Now we can come in here, and again, I don't have a lot at my disposal, but if I had more at my disposal... I can now hit this HP sub and turn it into 9 to 12, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. So we got a max roll. So now we're looking at 12% HP. And then for my conversions, if I, you know, if I'd hit a flat, if I'd hit a flat attack or something and didn't want it, I could have come in here and swapped it out for accuracy. Um, again, the more that you do raids, the more that you'll have at your disposal here to change these runes. But this, this went from being a blue rune with a resistance and a speed sub to now a decent rune, right? It's, it's not like a G3 rune or anything. I'm not saying that these are like the top-of-the-line quality, but it's a lot better. It's a rune you would keep. It, th this rune will get used for sure. I'm going to use this rune, no doubt about it. And I've probably sold, I don't know, hundreds of runes at this point that probably could have turned into something like this. Um, so I think 
I'm going to personally start paying a little bit more attention and not write off a rune immediately just because it's blue. There's another speed and resistance. There's another speed and resistance. There's crit rate and HP. These are five star. I'm probably going to... I'm, I'm kind of wondering if I need to lighten up on five star runes a little bit too. I feel like in some cases, there's probably a lot of efficiency to be had on five star runes. And that used to be very true and very obvious. But now there are dungeons that drop only six star runes. So I think five star runes aren't quite as ne like necessary as they used to be. But back in the day, five star runes were, were, were you know very important to have as well because you didn't have the same access that you have to six star runes as you do now. Let's see if we can't find a couple more blue runes to do this with. I, I may have some already that are that are leveled up, but I don't feel like trying to find them. So let's just look around. Okay, here's here's one. We've got we've got inherent crit rate, we've got a flat HP, and we doubled up on speed. So let's see what it's gonna do at nine. Let's let's see what kind of rune this could turn into. And again, I don't I don't I, I wish I had more grinds and stuff to to really showcase what's going on, but I think I think the idea will come across. So now we've got attack percentage to go with our with our crit rate inherent. We've got speed and we do have a flat HP, but don't forget we can take care of that flat HP. So let's see what we do at 12 now. We could do crit damage that would turn this into a pretty great rune. We could do accuracy that would make this rune potentially pretty usable. Um let's let's see what we get here. Just any any day now. Any day now it's gonna hit level twelve and we'll know. We got our crit damage. This is going uh probably un unusually well. I would not always expect to get the rolls that we're calling. It's not always going to happen, but I'm kind of glad it's happening now because it's you're getting to see the examples of what I'm talking about. So now let's come in, and um, I believe we can only enchant out one or grind. I don't, I don't know. Again, that says enchant. I think we can only grind out one thing. So let's do that. Let's do that. And then let's see if we got anything we want to get rid of that flat HP for. Let's get rid of that flat HP for the accuracy. And then uh, I don't have another. If I had an accuracy one, I could grind that up too. But again, now we, we went from having a rune that was a blue rune that had flat HP and speed with a crit rate inherent to now a rune that again, 18 speed, 11 attack, and I and and I'm doing this with like blue and green enchants. When you start getting purple and and you know epic and legendary or whatever the rarities are called here, we're talking pretty significant bumps to all these stats, right? You you can drastically change what a rune looked like that was going to be with a little bit more attention paid to them. Okay, so now now we've taken two blue runes that. Didn't look like anything really special when I first pulled them, but for this one, it's a swift rune. I rolled double speed. That's pretty nice. We we got rid of the flat HP for accuracy. We also hit attack and crit damage, and it's got an inherent crit rate. There's a lot of efficiency in this rune. Now, again, if we're talking about being in G3 or something, well, okay, maybe not, but, but I don't know. This seems like it's going to be a pretty usable rune for a pretty long time. It's going to be a while before I probably snag another rune that outdoes this. And if we went through and compared it even to like some of my other runes that were default legendary runes, like let's go default grades that it brings my legendary ones up. Uh, here we've got crit damage, crit rate, accuracy, and attack. It's pretty nice, right? It's not terrible. There's no speed on it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but when you compare it to this rune, that was a default blue rune, right? This one was default blue. This one was default legendary, almost certainly. This is the better rune. This is the better swift rune. You know what I mean? Now I can reappraisal this, but there's no telling how many reappraisals I'm gonna have have to use to hit a good speed if that's what I'm looking for, since it's a swift rune, right? Here's another one. Legendary rune. We do have 14 speed on it. It's a default legend rune, but the rest of that really is not that great. 
I'd have to do a lot of work on this room to make it look like this room. And this was a blue room. So I think while it, it's probably going to require a little bit more time, because again, I'm going to have to look at my runes a little bit longer at the end of my repeat battles. I'm going to have to look at them for a little bit longer just to think like, what could I, what could this turn into? If I rolled this to nine and got this stat, if I rolled this to 12 and got this stat, what could I change? What could I amplify? What, what, you know what I mean? What, what could I really do with this rune? So it probably takes a little bit more time, but I think it's ultimately going to change the way that I'm able to play the game so drastically, uh, rather than just waiting on epic and legendary runes that check all my boxes. You know what I mean? I, I think if I start really utilizing these resources and, and molding my blue runes into something usable, the ones that roll decent, decently well, um, I think, it, I think it's going to carry me a lot further. It's going to give me a lot more rune efficiency, a lot more runes for my units. So that's kind of my advice. Uh, do, don't write off a rune because it's blue, and don't write off a rune because one of its substats are flat. If, if one of the other substats is good, things can be done to improve your runes, okay? There's, there's a lot of stuff in the game that allows us to to manipulate our runes a little bit and really turn them into something drastically different than they were. So um, I reckon that's it. This doesn't need to be a super long video. If you guys want a longer version of this, then uh, after I farm some some raids for a little bit and I've got a pretty good pool of grinds and enchants, we can go in and, and really put in some work at, you know, recrafting our runes and and seeing what kind of differences we can make. And I'll do a longer version of this, but you guys got to let me know if you want to see that in the comments, because that would be a pretty long video. And I'm going to have to farm a lot of um, R4 slash R5 to do that. So let me know if you want to see some a longer version of that, and we'll get we'll get to work on it. Otherwise, I think the general idea kind of comes across in this video. Thankfully, the two runes that we tried it on, it worked out well. I would not always expect it to work out <laughs> as, as well as it worked out for us today, but you get the idea, right? Slow down a little bit. Try to see if you can find any potential. If you could imagine that rune turning into something good, then maybe it will. And, and, and you know, you, you'll get a lot more for your resources. I've probably wasted so much energy. Because it's not super infrequent that I do a, a 10 repeat battle and my whole window is blue runes. And sometimes I'll just click, 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 sell. I don't even look at them. You know what I mean? That's, that's wrong. I, I got to stop doing that. It's not only about epic and legendary runes. These blue runes can turn into something good. And you got to see it here. So that's it. I'm done. I'm getting out of here. I'm done rambling. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope it was helpful. If you have any other tips that you want to drop that are rune related, uh, I, I would love to hear them. And I'm sure other people would as well. So drop them in the comments. And uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Later.